Welcome back to the Great Enchant Table Race. This is episode 121. It's been a long time since I've attempted this challenge, but if you recall correctly, in a random hardcore seed like this one, uh, we try to uh, craft an enchanting table as quickly as possible, and then as an added challenge, I'm going to try to enchant a book. Uh, so what we need on the surface before we go down to look for diamonds and obsidian is a bit of sugarcane and leather so we can make our books. Uh, there are three sheep here, and they all have white wool, so I'm going to try to craft a bed. That's not really part of the challenge. Uh, but it would ni it would be nice to be able to sleep if we could. Oh, there's a ruined portal out there in the water. That's going to help us with this challenge uh, immensely. Uh, I also need some wood. There's some trees over in this direction. Uh, but first, one more sheep. Whoa, that's dangerous. There's a big hole there in the ground. This could be a mistake trying to uh, craft a bed on the surface, especially since... Uh, I should have made tools before going after all that wood, uh, but it's too late now. We have three white wool. Let's go ahead and get some wool so we can get some basic starter tools going. And then we'll look for sugarcane and some leather. We need at least two books before we head underground to find diamonds and obsidian. And of course, we're going to check out that ruined portal because the chest could actually contain some obsidian, which will save us some time. Uh, okay, that should be enough wood to get started with a crafting table. And we should also go ahead and make some sticks. Let's see, there we go, that's probably enough. And then why don't we go ahead and craft the bed right away. I'm not too concerned that nighttime is coming soon, but it would be nice to get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and also make a wooden pickaxe so we can grab some stone, perhaps down in this little craggy ravine area here. If I can reach some stone down here. Yeah, I think that won't be too hard to do. And then I just need enough stone that, so that we can get some basic tools. Now I am going to craft two furnaces and hopefully that's not a waste of time. I think it's going to be valuable later uh, to get the iron we need to mine diamonds. We're going to have to do some smelting. And so two furnaces will definitely save us time. Also, I want to cook the uh, mutton that we collected when we killed the sheep because we need some food for caving. If we're, if we're going to survive down in the caves with all the mobs, we're going to want some food with us. And I think maybe the mutton is all the food I'm going to need. How much uh, stone is that? Actually, it might be enough. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of this hole. If we need more stone, we'll come back for it. But let's do a little bit of crafting first. I left my bench up here. We'll upgrade to a stone pickaxe. First of all, I need a stone axe as well. And then we can afford two furnace. So there we go. Uh, let's be on our way now because we have to check out that ruined portal. And this actually might be the way that we go down into a cave to look for diamonds. But first... The Ruin Portal awaits, and I need leather as well. Uh, I see horses, but I do not see sugar cane. We should probably craft a boat. Do I have enough? Uh, do I have enough wood for a boat? I do, but barely, barely have enough because uh, that leaves us with only a few planks. All right, but I think the boat is going to be worth it. We can go out to the Ruin Portal, which is in the ocean here, and see if it has any obsidian for us. There could be some other valuable things in this chest as well. For example, there could be a bit of iron. Let's see, where is the chest? There it is. Uh, okay, two blocks of gold, an, an enchanted golden apple, and just a ton of iron in here as lo uh, along with some boots. Uh, I can't believe we just got an enchanted golden apple out of this ruined portal. That is insane. And that is a lot of starter gold too. And Feather Falling 1 on Gold Boots isn't too bad either. Uh, we need to... Oh, and we have enough Iron Nuggets, I think, for uh, that crafting of the pickaxe. Uh, let's see, 37 divided by 3. Yeah, we should be able to get 3 ingots out of that. Here, let's head back to shore here. Um, I also see some coal right there that I want to grab. Let's take our boat with us and mine this coal real quick while I figure out what I want to do with this iron. Let's see, can I get this coal easily? 
Yeah, there's a couple of bits of coal here. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna use that for smelting, and then also since the stone is so accessible, I'm just gonna grab a few extra bits of stone here as well. Uh, what I could use now is the leather and the sugar cane. So let's go see if we can find that stuff on the surface. I also want to cook this food. Uh, are there cows nearby, or am I going to have to kill horses? Okay, sensitive viewers, look away. <laughs> I need leather, and so the horses are going down. Uh, that's one piece of leather. Now I just need one more. Okay, that's enough leather. We don't need to kill any more horses than that. Sorry, that was brutal, I know. Uh, let's go ahead and mine another tree. I'm going to need some extra wood, I think, before we head underground. But I'm in a hurry because I need diamonds and I need obsidian. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up real quick here. I'm going to put down my crafting table. And I'm going to put down a furnace. Let's get some food cooking. Uh, we'll use... I think we have enough coal, but uh, we'll just use the wood that we collected. I think we have enough wood now. Because I also want to make some torches out of this coal. And that we can't make from wood unless you, unless you make charcoal, I guess. But I don't want to do that. Uh, let's use the iron nuggets to make ingots. And we have four, so that's going to be enough for a shield. And we're also going to go ahead and craft that iron pickaxe that we need to mine the diamonds. Uh, so now all we need is just a little bit of sugar cane. Uh, let's go ahead and equip this in the offhand. And is there anything else we want to do with this gold? Not really, I think. We'll keep the notch apple down here on the hot bar. Uh, that could come in handy. It looks like we need a little more fuel as well for the food. Why don't we go uh, mine a little bit more tree here. And then I just saw sugar cane to my left. So we're going to go ahead and grab that next. I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, we actually need to enchant a book this time and not just craft the enchanting table. So we're going to need uh, at least six pieces of sugar cane to craft two books. Okay, that's a little bit of extra wood. Let's turn it into planks. And then let's go see how much sugar cane we can get here. It looks like four bits. Uh, I don't see... Oh, there are cows in the distance there. Maybe I should have just gone ahead and taken out the cows instead of the horses, but it's a little bit too late now. We already have our leather. Uh, I could have waited, but it's fine. It's going to be okay. Uh, this should be all the sugar cane I need. I'm going to just go ahead and pick up all the sugar cane here. Uh, and let's go ahead, actually, and take out some of these cows. I'm a little bit worried we don't have enough food. Uh, it just depends how long it takes us to find diamonds and some lava underground. Uh, my plan is to dig straight down. Yeah, you saw that I just got some leather there, didn't you? And that leather would have been used for crafting books. And then we wouldn't have needed to kill the horses, but uh, there's no point to think about that now. Now let's just go back to our furnace and get our cooked food. And we'll save the rest of that uh, beef that we just got for backup food. Where was my furnace? Over here somewhere. Oh, we got an apple as well. It's very nice. And did the food finish smelting? It sure did. Okay, let's pick up this furnace and go underground now. Uh, I should just go ahead and mine straight down, I think. Unless I can find a very convenient cave entrance. Okay, let's mine this coal first in case we want more torches, which I'm pretty sure we do. Although we may have just found coal on the way down to diamonds anyway, so this, this might be extremely unnecessary. Kind of a waste of time, you would say, in a speed challenge. But uh, I'm going to take it anyway, the entire vein of coal, because I think it's going to be worth it. And I want to keep the caves lit up uh, the whole time we're down there. Let's go ahead and mix a few more torches. Now uh, looks like we have five beef for our backup food. And let's also go ahead and make the books now. I'm just going to go ahead and make as many books as I can. I think that's four. Yeah, so we'll take all four books underground with us. And let's see, what else do I need to do with my hotbar here? Uh, nothing. I think we're okay. Let's head underground, uh, especially since it's turning nighttime. We don't want to be on the surface when there's mobs. Uh, that little cave entrance there is full of water. So is this. Uh, so I think we should just dig down. Dig straight down. And I don't want there to be water underneath. So let's see if we can find a place to dig down where there's not going to be any water there. Uh, maybe just in the middle of this field is fine. 
What does it look like over here? Is this filled with water? Yeah, I think we dig down right here. And I'm going to go ahead and risk it and just dig straight down. Uh, but I will leave a torch here in case we need to come back to the surface for our obsidian needs. Because we could use that portal, the ruined portal, to mine all the obsidian we need if we can't find a lava pool underground. So all we need down here is five diamonds. And since we're in Minecraft Java version 1.20.2 now, uh, diamonds should be a little bit easier to find. It's almost unfair, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see. I should probably maybe... Oh, I hear uh, cave sounds here. So we should proceed uh, a little bit carefully. I'm going to straddle these two blocks, and it's going to take some extra time, but I don't want to fall into a cave full of mobs. So I'm just going to mine down two by two now. It's nighttime on the surface, so mobs should be under control down here. Where is this cave? Here, let's go down a little bit riskier. Uh, yeah, I can't do any smelting or cooking yet. Oh, I hear lava nearby. That's quite interesting. And there's dirt here. I'm going to try to avoid it. Here, let's leave some light here in case we need to come back this way. Uh, let's see. With the lava so close, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, precautions against falling directly into it. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more iron, but we didn't run into any on the way down, and we're almost to yeah. Here's cobbled deep slate right here, so we kind of missed our chance to get extra iron. We're gonna have to hope that we get really lucky with diamonds, otherwise we're gonna get in trouble down here if we lose our iron pickaxe. All right, let's jump down in here. And even though it's dark, I'm going to continue down looking for diamonds in the deep slate. Uh, let's go this way now. I don't hear the lava anymore. So that's probably above us. Okay, I think it's time we left another torch here. And let's see how low we can get. The lower we go, the greater our chance of finding diamonds. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't, like, maybe switch out pickaxes as well, uh, just to kind of save on the iron. It's a little bit slow, so I don't know. It, you take a risk either way, I guess. Uh, okay, let's get down through this tuff. Uh, we're probably not going to find any diamonds among the tuff, but you never know. Okay, I don't hear lava, so I'm going to continue digging straight down again. And we're pretty low now, so there's uh, it's unlikely we're going to fall directly into a cave or anything. It is pretty slow and painful with the stone pickaxe, I must admit. Uh, if we can't find a cave down here, though, we're going to have to end up strip mining for diamonds, which could take us a while. Especially if we have to mine using stone. Uh, okay, we, we just found a lava pool down here. Uh, so that's our obsidian needs done. Is there a cave here? Uh, I don't have a water bucket. So we're going to have to kind of do this the hard way. It would have been nice if we could have found some extra iron or something. Uh, here, I need blocks. What do I have for blocks? Uh, let's do this. And we'll use these blocks here to try to get down uh, to find some diamonds. Let's make a little bridge here. And we'll see if there's a cave nearby. Uh, let's use the stone pickaxe still. And we'll light this cave up as much as we can. Uh, we're just looking for five diamonds. And I don't see any yet, but it's nice that we have the lava pool available. Unfortunately, without a water bucket, we still have to go back to the surface. Uh, yeah, there's no diamonds here. No diamonds at all, and I think we're out of cave, so we're going to have to start strip mining. Let's go ahead and strip mine at lava level. Uh, it might be a little bit painful, but I think it'll be worth it. Let's see. Okay, there's lava right there. So is that lava level? Oh, there might be some more cave through here, actually, now that I look at it. Yeah, let's mine to it and see if it's true. Does this actually go through? Yeah, it looks like there is... Oh, dang it. Yeah, there's nothing here. Uh, okay, let's use the stone pickaxe. We have to be very careful not to lose our iron. That's all we have. 
I wish we could have found a little bit more iron on the surface, maybe. Uh, let's just make a strip mine here. And we'll go back as far as we can. Oh, it's so slow. I hate it already. But what are you going to do? This is the, um, these are the choices we made led us to this point. All right. I wish I could use the iron pickaxe. It would be much faster, uh, but I can't risk it. I need the durability on the iron pick to mine diamonds. Uh, one vein of diamonds should be all we need, I think. As long as we can get a nice big vein, uh, we can get at least five diamonds all in one go. And then since we don't have a water bucket, it's going to be back to the surface. Uh, but it's easy to find the way back. Okay, there's gold here, so I am going to just switch to my iron pickaxe uh, just for a moment to mine the gold. Uh, we don't need gold, of course, but I'm going to mine the entire vein here. All right, now let's continue looking for diamonds. I don't think we're going to be setting any records with this challenge. It would have been extremely lucky uh, to find diamonds in exactly the place we decided to mine down. But that wasn't the case, so we're going to have to look for them the hard way. I wish there had been more cave here. Oh, I actually hear flowing water. If we can find enough iron down here, we can make our own water bucket and we won't even need to return to the surface. Which actually might save us some time. I'm going to try to dig to the flowing water, even if we have to staircase up a bit. Uh, it'll be worth it if there's a cave there and also if we can find some iron, like I said, to make a bucket. Yeah, let's actually staircase up a bit here. And I can afford to light this up, so I will. Oh, that's the iron pickaxe. We need to use the stone, which is about to break. Okay, I hear cave sounds now. Oh, and I found the flowing water. Uh, that's excellent. Let's uh, replace our pick real quick before we encounter mobs. I'm probably spawning mobs. Oh, I need sticks. I'm out of sticks. Okay, there we go. And now I can craft another stone pickaxe. My inventory is almost full. Actually, I think it is full. All right, let's go up here. Oh, if it's full, I should uh, get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of this ingot, uh, saplings, seeds. I just need to make space in case we find some diamonds and iron down here. I need to be able to pick it up. All right, let's get our torches ready and light this cave area up before we get mobs spawning around here. All right, so we have flowing waters, um, but I don't see any diamonds. Okay, we have our first mob. It is a zombie, and he got a hit on me, unfortunately. Monster Hunter, yes we are. Uh, okay, there are other mobs spawning in the distance. Let's make some more torches and run through here real quick and light it up while we look for diamonds and uh, iron. All right, I see the creeper, another creeper. That's okay, we have a shield, so not a big deal. Uh, we're, we're okay about uh, with creepers, I think. We can just do this. I see iron as well, so let's mine the iron. Okay, don't, 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 don't blast my iron, please. Oh, okay, I still got the iron. <laughs> we're going to need more than one piece, though. Okay, there's some iron right here. We can mine this as well. Uh, I need just one more bit of iron, I think. And then we'll be okay as far as the uh, water bucket. But we uh, we still don't have diamonds yet either. And I don't see any. Not in the ceiling and not in any of the safe places that we've lit up. So uh, we're going to have to go through here. I see skeletons everywhere. <laughs> there are so many skeletons. Uh, I'm going to have to try to dodge them all as we light up this cave. And that's going to be easier said than done. Yeah, there's so many mobs here. Uh, let's see if we can dodge most of them. And maybe even get them to hit each other. Uh, is there a way through here? Here, let's block ourselves in real quick. Because I think uh, there's a chance the skeletons will come through here. And let's check through here where it's safer. Because there could actually be diamonds this way as well. Uh, I'm using the wrong pickaxe though. I need to use the stone, unfortunately. Until we find enough diamonds for a pickaxe. Uh, okay, let's light this bit up back here. And I want to see, 
I need to see one more piece of iron and I just don't so that we can craft a water bucket. Let's go back through here. There could be, oh, uh, all right. There, there's some cave back here. We can check it out. Uh, that's just glow like in there. And then this goes back down to lava. Hey, we have a diamond. Uh, let's see, can I mine that diamond if I go like this? Maybe, maybe I can, even without a water bucket. It would be nice if I had just that one more piece of iron, uh, but I don't see anything around. Okay, iron pickaxe. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, I got the diamond. Now, if we do this very carefully, we should be able to get, here, let's make a way out for ourselves as we mine this diamond. Okay, it's only two vein, only two diamonds here. That's uh, kind of unlucky, actually. Oh, I need to switch back picks. Uh, I don't think... I don't think we're going to get a third diamond here, so we're going to have to look somewhere else. Alright, where do we go now? Let's go through here, actually. This cave area looks pretty safe. And we just want one more piece of iron. And... How many more diamonds? Three? Uh, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting hung up on blocks here. Okay, there's some light. Yeah, this terrain is not the greatest, but I chose this way because there were a lot fewer mobs. Uh, but it looks like a dead end, and I don't see any diamonds, unfortunately. No diamonds, right? Yeah, no diamonds down here. No iron either. Okay, back up we go. We need to get back out and... Let's see, we could go up here. But that doesn't really seem worth it, and I don't see any diamonds up here either. Yeah, there's no way through there. Okay, let's go back. Uh, there's more cave to explore. Alright, so I can't really cross the lava here. I'm just going to take a quick look and see if there are any diamonds back there. Probably not. Uh, what about through here? Uh, I've got some redstone available. And I don't see any... Oh, there's a diamond right there. So that's going to be enough to give us a pickaxe. Uh, here, let's mine the diamond. And any more here? I need two more diamonds. Okay, that's one more diamond. Oh, okay, and two more. Okay, that's all the diamonds we need. Let's go ahead and craft... Let's see, where is my crafting table? Let's go ahead and craft the pickaxe. I need sticks again. Why am I always out of sticks? Okay, uh, craft the pickaxe. Okay, perfect. Now we don't have to worry about iron for a pick anymore. Let's make more torches. And we have two diamonds and a book. All we need is the obsidian now, which means I need one piece of iron. Otherwise, I need to return to the surface. So let's go ahead and see if we can find one more iron. Uh, we'll definitely be able to cave a lot quicker now that we have a fast pick. Uh, okay, no iron here. Yeah, I just need iron. I guess we should go back to the where the water source is. Since we have the diamonds done, we can uh, afford to look around. We also have the notch apple. So we can use that to... Um, to go up against the hostile mobs in this area if we need to in order to procure here procure procure <laughs> that last piece of iron that we need all right let's go out here and try to light it up again it looks like there was a skeleton fight we just need one piece of iron uh okay there's a skeleton okay we've got iron right here in fact uh i just need to fight the skeleton i think i know maybe we're okay all right, we've got our last piece of iron right there. Let's go smelt it right over here. Um, let's do both furnaces. I think that will be the fastest. I'll leave two in there and then I should be able to... Oh, I need wood. All right, hopefully we saved some time there by splitting the iron. I'm not sure that we saved all that much time, to be honest. I need my crafting table down. It already is. Okay, there's one iron, two iron, and now I just need the last one to make a water bucket. Perfect. Uh, let's pick all this up. 
uh, in case we need it again. We definitely will need the crafting table again. And now we just need to mine some obsidian, but first I need a water source. And I think the best place to get that is back over here. Hopefully we don't need to go too far. I don't know where these water sources are. Let's try this one back here first. It might be, it might be a little lower. Is there a water source here? Okay, I got a water source, perfect. And now I just need to find some lava. Uh, let's see, I, I know there's lava over here, the big lava pool. I need to mine four pieces of obsidian. All right, yeah, let's just mine here at this lava pool. I'll drop in a water bucket. We'll mine out this brick here and throw in the water. And then we'll get to mining some obsidian. I just need eight pieces. Uh, not eight. Did I say eight? <laughs> I only need four. Oh, I should have put the crafting table down already. It's fine. I have time. Okay, that's one. Oh, it's slow. That's okay. We, we're not setting a record here anyway. Uh, this was fun, though. I forgot what this challenge was all about. It's been so long since I've played it. Um, now I understand why I recorded 120 episodes of this. It, it's a good challenge. Um, and I think actually adding the enchanted book. Oh, no, I need lapis. <laughs> it, it just occurred to me. I'm not done. Uh, okay, I have the four obsidian. Uh, let's pick up the water here. Let's go ahead and make a enchanting table. We'll craft it manually. It's just four obsidian, two diamonds, and a book. But in order to enchant... Uh, one of these books, which is part of the challenge, uh, we need a little bit of lapis. So let's go find some real quick. We have a nice big open cave here, so it shouldn't take too long to find just a couple lapis. Uh, the skeleton has vacated the premises, so that's convenient. Can we find lapis in time? Okay, that cave goes up in that direction. Let's actually look this way. Uh, we've got gold in the ceiling, redstone, pretty much everything except lapis. Yeah, I don't even remember seeing lapis anywhere, uh, but we'll find some, don't worry. I think our, I think we should go higher if we want to find... Oh, there's more diamonds here. Uh, actually, I will take this diamond. I think it's just one. Um, as we go look for obsidian, I will take any diamonds that we see. Um, yeah, this this cave area does not look good for lapis, but we should go higher, I think, uh, in order to find lapis. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see any up there. Uh, let's go back down through here. 17 torches left. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. Uh, that's redstone there. Let's see. Can I get across this lava here? I need blocks. Um... Okay, let's just get rid of that. I need blocks on my bar to get over this uh, lava here. Uh, can I just reach? Yeah, there we go. Block it off. Okay, we've got a little bit more cave here, but uh, I just see iron and redstone, so that's not what we want. Uh, I think we... Oh, there's a diamond in the ceiling. Do we go for that? Yeah, we can go for that because there's uh, water to land in. Uh, can I reach it? Yeah. And I think I even just picked that up. Let's see, there's one more diamond there. Is that it? Yeah, one more diamond. Now I dropped one of the diamonds. So I'm going to go see if I can pick it up. Uh, where did it go? Oh, maybe I picked it up. I have three in my inventory. Oh, no, that means I didn't. That means I didn't pick it up, actually. So where did it go? Did I lose it to the lava? No, I shouldn't have. It should have gone down here somewhere. Well, I just don't see it. Uh, it's not in the water. Maybe it went down here? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just lost it. Anyways, it's not important. Uh, what's important is we need to go find Lapis. So let's get out of here. We can use this water stream to try to get a little bit higher. And let's see, we have already been there, so that's not where we want to go. Uh, let's try 
Let's try to go up where this water is. Because I think there's a way through here. Yeah, there definitely is, and there's a lot of cave here as well. Uh, we'll have to be careful of mobs. Okay, lapis, lapis, lapis. I'm looking around. And I see nothing. Iron, there's iron. Uh, hello, zombies. I hear you. Okay, let's take care of the zombie real quick. Before more come. Ah, uh, dang it. Why did I do that? I took way too much damage there. Uh, in order to run through here, I should probably just gapple up. Just need one piece of lapis. I'm almost out of food, too. This is my last piece of food. Otherwise, I need to cook some more. Uh, okay, let's just let's just cook some more food. I think that's going to be worth it. Uh, okay, let's put a furnace down. I need fuel. We'll use wood. All right. I think we'll wait for this to smelt for a minute. Uh, we could go here. Let's do. Let's get the skeleton out of the way. That's the only other mob I see over here uh, for the moment. All right, uh, torches, please. Thank you. Yeah, still no signs of any lapis. Let's light this area up because we're going to need... Oh, there, right there, right there. Okay, let's just mine the lapis and then we're done. We're done with the challenge. I'm just going to take that down here where our furnace is cooking food. And we'll throw down this enchanting table. Uh, let's put a book in and let's grab whatever. It doesn't matter. Protection one, why not? Uh, so we've got our enchanted book here. And we've got our enchanting table. And that completes the challenge. How did we do for time? We have... Oh, it's about a half hour. So not the best time. Not the worst time. I think, I think we've definitely done better in this challenge before. Uh, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain about it. It was a fun challenge, and I'm glad I played it again. Maybe we'll do some more of these um, in the new year. Actually, this one should actually um, come out in 2024. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Great Enchant Table Race, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.